Ashley from the Record Journal here at the Barker Character Comic and Cartoon Museum and Art Gallery here in Cheshire. And we're going to go check out what they have in store. There's 80,000 character pieces within this museum and it goes from 1873 to 2009. So they're all vintage pieces within the museum. Well, the Barkers themselves collected this museum. They did it over a 30-year period. And uh, they started in 1960s. And uh, it was their hobby. They went around and uh, collected at estate sales, tag sales, flea markets. And uh, they had amassed 85% of the museum as their personal acquisition and the other 15% over the years was donations to the museum. This is a special room, <laughs> obviously, when we have an eight and a half foot Hulk here. And he was a, uh, in the movie lobby when the Hulk movie was first came out, premiered in 2008. And they were issued by the studios. There were a few hundred throughout the United States. And we were just lucky enough to secure one after the uh, movie was over. And that's, that's, very, uh, that's a theme throughout the whole museum. We get things that no one else has. Mr. Barker, he was born in 1929, and that was the year that Popeye uh, premiered. This is our newest uh, collection that we, and uh, we will be receiving more pieces on The Wizard of Oz, but this was a very huge collection that we just recently secured. Someone is donating uh, in the name of his uh, former wife who passed away with cancer. And uh, he doesn't have a name, not that I'm aware of, but what he did was he was in a one of the old department stores in Meriden years ago, in downtown Meriden. As soon as the door would open and you would go through the doors, he would jump up three and a half feet. These are the Seuss collection of unorthodox taxidermy, it's called, um, which is a very fitting name. You can see the plaques, some of the crazy names that they have here, you know, the semi-normal green-lidded fawn, um, very funny. But he, Dr. Seuss, he had a very long storied career. Um, in addition to just doing children's illustration, he also did political cartoons. Um, he worked uh, for a lot of different publications before just doing uh, children's books. So he started doing these in the 30s. We have some people who come in who have been collectors since the 70s of, you know, original production cells or like the limited edition cells, which would be something that's right around here behind me. Um, so there's, it's a good mix of people who know a lot and people who are just starting out learning. What your interests lie, you will find it here.